your French nibs again. I'm out here in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around tonight and uh, <clears throat> I wanted to do a little quick review, uh, first look or whatever you want to call it on this new one, new old one I just brought home the other day. I did a, uh, showed it to you in a mail call video that I had to bring home. But uh, what we have here is a Crossman Model 1008. They call it a repeat air, uh, repeat air repeater <laughs> but uh, this is a little cheap blowback or not blowback but uh, co2 powered uh, actually revolver pellet gun pellet pistol the made by crossman uh, this one actually was still new in the box uh, still had the uh, wire tie wrapped around the handle so that shows that it had never been uh, charged or anything like that um, and this one from what I could find and if anybody knows any better let me know down below but uh, this one has the brown handles which from what I've read online was the original configuration between 1992 and 1997 and then in uh, 1997 they switched over to this particular configuration well, they had two configurations past 1997. Um, they had uh, black on black, and then they had a uh, silver, silverish color plastic on the body, and then black grips. So, uh, with the brown grips, were only the, the earlier models. So, to find this one new in the box, with the uh, and being that old, I think is pretty cool. So, um, I did play around with it a little bit beforehand, um, and I did put my little orange dot on my. I'm not pointing it at me, I'm pointing it past me. <laughs> but I put my little orange dot on the front sight so I could actually see it. But I did uh, run some chronograph numbers. Let's see, I got them right here on this. So I did uh, five shots. And it had a pretty big spread of like 56. I'll put that over here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it had an average of about 316 feet per second. Which is, which is about typical for these CO2 pistols. Uh, they're not, you know, no powerhouses or anything like that, but uh, as long as you can hit a tin can across the garage, that's all it really matters. But uh, it uses uh, this little tiny uh, wheel for eight shots, eight pellets, 177 pellets. I did do, uh, also chest, tested the trigger with my Lyman trigger gauge. And this thing is actually capable of a double action pull or a single action pull. So, um, and I did uh, both of those. Let's see, we'll put the uh, double action pull up here first where you pull a trigger back and it cocks the hammer and then fires it. And uh, that was a pretty hefty uh, eight pounds even uh, average. <clears throat> but that's not terrible. I've got real powder burners that have worse double action triggers than that so that's not too bad but then the single action wasn't really too bad at all um, that weighed in at about a three pound ten ounce average which is actually pretty decent um, especially for a cheap toy like this one but uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll bring it out here and I'll just shoot a cylinder full across the garage we'll see if we can hit anything So the way you load this is you, uh, there's a little button here on the top, you pull that forward and the, the barrel and everything swings up. <clears throat> and then you uh, load your cylinder in like that. Close it down and now you're ready to go. Been having some troubles with this one and the other one. When you shoot the first round, sometimes it doesn't get that one out. And I don't know if it's a, an alignment problem with the See if it'll work this time. Oh yeah. I, I like shooting this thing in single action, double action just doesn't. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Three into just about the same hole. One little flyer there. Wow. <laughs> 
I can't count, that was five, right? Six. All but that one. Seven. Oh, man, that one flew up a little bit, but I kept them all on the shoot and see. I can't ask for more than that. This thing is, you know, it's just a little cheap plinker. Um, really intended for shooting tin cans across the garage more than anything, but uh, I don't think I could do that good with that other one. I have to go back about a year or so when I bought that one first off, but uh, there you go. Brand new. <laughs> this is like the uh, second or third uh, cylinder of pellets through it since it was unboxed out of that box. So it's uh, pretty darn, pretty darn cool having something this old, it's not terribly old, but this old and and be in this good a shape. So also before we go, the way you charge it is underneath the right hand grip uh, is where your CO2 goes. It's a little, little clip to clip on to the body of the gun. Just like that. So if I remember right from the other one, I was getting 35 or 40 good shots uh, before I had to put a new cylinder in it, so that's not too bad for a, for a pellet pistol with runs on CO2. But uh, anyway, there you go. A little quick look, a little quick review on the Crossman 1008. There's the older version. This this one here is, I don't even know if there's a, is there a, a number on these somewhere that I could even tell. A production number. I know a lot of Crossman guns have production numbers on them somewhere, but I don't see anything. But apparently the black on black is a, is a newer version. It still could be like a 98 instead of a 97, but the uh, the black, the brown on black uh, was made, again, from what I could find between 92 and 98. So, you know, good possibly 30 year old gun. And uh, that's pretty cool. Still uh, working, probably never used. I mean, definitely was never used. It was brand new in the package. So but anyway, hope you liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.